Leroy's Pokemon Sapphire Walkthrough Part 24. Alright, now we are in Route 114, ready to move on, and I've already been in that house, so I'm just going to come straight to this guy. Now, this guy will give you the TM for Roar. Now, Roar is, I'm not going to lie, it's an awful move to use in the regular game, but if you're a competitive battler, or you want to go to like the Battle Tower later on, it's not bad. It basically forces your opponent to switch out. And uh, we have a Fisherman to fight, so I guess Tambora isn't a good option for my front Pokemon, so I'll go to Athena, who has Shockwave, so yeah. I like to fish, but I also like to battle. If anyone challenges me, I'm there, even if I'm fishing. Alright, so, um, you're gonna find that at the beginning of this route, there's, um, a few fishermen, so... I guess he has a Barboat, which is ground types, so that doesn't work for electric types, unfortunately, but I can still use Confusion. But anyways, the Olympics was, um, finishing up yesterday. I'd like to say congratulations to any of my viewers from Canada, because they won the gold in hockey against the USA. Um, and just because, like, I like to know where everyone's from, just tell me, like, what country you're from, because not everyone's from the United States, like, not all my viewers, so, if you're watching this, just leave me a comment telling me what country you're from, or, like, what country you were rooting for in the Olympics, because I always just think it's crazy that I have, like, viewers in the UK and stuff. Um, but yeah, just, you know, tell me what country you're from, I just think it's cool that I have people from all over watching, and yeah, here's another fisherman. Um, but yeah, Canada beat the United States in hockey. It was like a really intense game if anyone was watching. Um, obviously I was rooting for the US, but I guess, you know, Canada kind of deserves it, I guess, because it's their sport, so I'm happy for Canada. Um, and it doesn't really matter because the United States still got the most medals anyways, so ha. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, we have a Goldeen and it's dead now. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you have electric types or ground or grass types, they're probably going to get uh, quite a bit of experience towards the beginning of this route. And actually, if you have grass types, um, it wouldn't definitely wouldn't be a bad idea training them here because the next uh, gym is fire type. And wait a minute, I just lived with like one health. Wow. Um, but anyways, yeah, the next gym is a fire type, so your grass Pokemon won't get like any experience there. So it's definitely a good idea training them here. But you know, that's only if you're one of those like super strategic trainers that wants like all their Pokemon even the whole way. And yeah, did I just get a critical hit like when he had one hit point? That always happens to me. Um, anyways, he has a Barbotch. I'm just gonna go to Tree Ninja this time. And, yeah. Yeah, Barbotch is a new Pokemon, I guess. We haven't seen it before this. It's water and ground. It evolves into Whiskash. Now, I don't know if you guys know what Pokemon Whiskash is, but it looks nothing like Barbotch. Like, how in the world can a Barbotch turn into a Whiskash? It, like, makes no sense. Kind of like Milotic and a lot of other Pokemon, but whatever. I just think it's funny. It's like you go from Feebas to Milotic. It's like that little fish to that giant snake, whatever it is, thingy. But yeah, I know it's not a snake, but whatever you want to call it. It kind of looks like one, but whatever. I'm, I'm like way off topic now. <laughs> but anyways, here's another Goldeen. So we're going to kill it with the Shockwave. Oh yeah, and earlier how I, I was kind of ranting about like, how can a Whalmer be a battling on land? Like, whales can't just be you know, running around on land. Like, how does that work with any Water-type Pokemon? Like, Goldeen? Like, does the Goldeen, like, just flopping around, like, on the deck somehow using attacking moves? I don't know. Um, but anyways. Or maybe it just stays in the water, who knows. Maybe I'm making it too complicated. I'm gonna go back to Tambora because there's a Picnicker here, and sometimes they have Grass-types, so yeah. You need exercise after a meal. Let's have a match. I don't know how having a Pokemon battle is gonna give you any exercise, because all you really do is stand there and go, like, you know, throw your Pokeball out. I mean, if you call that exercise, I don't know. Um, and yeah, of course it has to be a Meryl, so we can switch out. Like, the one Pokemon you have has to be a Water-type. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kill it with Shockwave. And you're gonna use Tail Whip. Alright, now, um, I actually think you can catch Meryl here if you are surfing or fishing or something. I don't know, there's always, uh, new Pokemon you can check out with your um, rods or whatever, and, uh, right now I think we only have the old rod, but later in the game you can come and you can find tons of different water types like Meryl and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's probably the number one spot to find good water types if you're looking for one, is just to get, like, the good rod or the super rod once you have it, and just use that, because you can find tons of stuff everywhere. And here's a Lombre, so I'm actually going to go to Tambor for this, just because he can probably handle it. Or I guess she can probably handle it, since someone always makes a comment like, Oh, it's a girl! Um, but anyways, I'm gonna use Ember. Now, I actually think this is gonna take a really, really long time, so I might just cut it out. 
Let's see. Oh yeah, this is gonna take a while. So guys, don't worry, I'm just gonna cut this out. You're not gonna miss anything, just a bunch of embers, so yeah. And that's gonna finish it off. And seriously, you guys missed nothing. It literally used Growl every single turn. I don't know why it would do that, because I'm clearly using special attacking moves. But whatever. These trainers aren't smart enough to figure these things out. Um, so yeah, actually... What am I doing? <laughs> okay, yeah, if you come way over here, you can find a hidden item. A revive, so that's worth grabbing. And obviously we don't have syrup, so we can't go over there yet. And, oh yeah, in the sidebar, I'm gonna put a list of all the wild Pokemon you can find in here, because there's just like a ton of them, and it varies depending on what game you're playing. So yeah, just check the sidebar if you're interested. And this guy right here will give you a Nanab Berry for free. So, um, if you care about berries at all, talk to him. And in this house right here, um... Oh wait, actually it's empty right now, okay. Don't worry about this right now, I'm gonna explain this later. So yeah, there's actually something that you can kinda do. It's not important or anything, but you can do it, but I'll just, I'll do it later. So yeah, don't worry about it. Anyways, here's a double battle, so I guess I'm gonna put up Athena. Since, I don't know, I'm kinda training Athena up right now, and we'll fight these two people. Wait, you're g Did she just say she's gonna teach me a little something about Pokemon? Ha, ah, that's a good one. And what's the person on the left so freaked out about? She's like screaming. And Roselia and Graveler, so this should be pretty easy. At least for the Roselia. I don't know about the Graveler, which is at level 21, even though Geodude clearly doesn't evolve to level 25, which obviously means this trainer is hacking. Um, but anyways. <laughs> this Ember will kill the Roselia. Oh, oh yay, Stunts were missed. Okay, good. And I got the TM for Dig on, or in the last video, and I was thinking about teaching that to Numble, but I figured I'd just wait for Magnitude. I don't know, maybe I still will, I don't really care. It doesn't, it's not that big of a deal if I don't. And Mud Sport. Yeah, that's... You, okay, think about what you're doing. You're a Ground-type Pokémon using a move that lowers the power of Electric-type Pokémon, or Electric-type moves, when Electric-type moves don't even work on you. Why is that smart at all? It's not. <laughs> I, I really don't understand. Like, Mud Sport, Water Sport, those, those moves are like 99% of the time it's worthless when they use it in, in this game. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're gonna kill it with Bullet Seed now. Like, seriously, when Electric-type moves don't work against you, why would you want to weaken Electric-type moves? It's just like a waste of time. Uh, but whatever. And, like, everyone got experience that time, wow. Alright, so... I think there's a couple more trainers we can fight here. Camping is fun. You can fish, roast marshmallows, and tell spooky stories. But the best of all, there are Pokemon battles. Who are you telling spooky stories to, anyways? You're like camping by yourself. Seriously. Um. Ooh, Camper Shane. Like Camper Shane Dawson. Ha ha. Probably half of you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, let's switch to Tree Ninja. I don't know why I always say it like Tree Ninja. It just sounds cooler that way. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna take care of the sand tree. Ooh, poison thing. Oh, I swear to God, if that poisons me. Ah, super effective. Oh, come on! Ah, uh, whatever. It's not that bad. How does a sand true use poison sting anyways? It's not even a poison type, and it like doesn't have like a poison stinger or anything. Oh, whatever. It doesn't make any sense. But it's gonna die from the bullet seed. That's what you get for poisoning me. You die a painful death. Um, alright, so... Yeah, we've actually been seeing sand trues pretty often, I guess. We saw one in the last video, I think. Or two videos ago, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I think we can switch back to Tambor for this, because, uh, Nuzleaf is a grass type. So yeah, Ember. Alright, this will be a two-hit KO. Harden. Yeah, it's definitely smart. Raise your defense when I'm clearly gonna use a Fire-type move. And you're gonna die. Alright, so this route's been really easy so far. Other than the poison on Grovile, like, no one has any damage on him. Way too strong. Haha, -ha, we defeated Camper Shane Dawson. Except that's not really his name, but whatever. Um, let's heal up. Okay, so, next we're gonna- Ah, oh, wild battle. Alright, never mind that. Let's go fight this dude now. Um, oh, this is one of those- Oof, 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 what took battle against my Pokemon? This is one of those creepy, like, Pokemaniac guys, I think. Yeah, it is. Just look at the way he dresses. Like, who dresses like that? Like, who just wears that giant, like- I don't even know what that- the costume with, like, the tail and stuff. You just look like a freak. But anyways, we're gonna Ember this Aaron today. Oh yeah, in the last video I was like, oh, what's with Aaron? Why is it- but it's actually- everyone was saying it's pronounced, like, more like Iron, like Aaron. I don't know. I guess that's what people- like, Aaron, not Aaron. But I'm still gonna call it Aaron, just because that's what I've always called it. But 
Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So thank you for everyone who left a comment telling me about Aaron and Aaron or whatever. <laughs> but yeah. And Jelly Belly's grown up levels a lot. Wow. M my Pokemon! Alright, so I think that's actually all the time we're gonna have for now. Um, I'm gonna grab this item really quick, a Carbos. And before I leave this uh, route right here, there's actually a Pokemon that I'm looking for to catch in here. So, let's actually go look for that right now.